If you're looking to get the attention of that special someone or maybe just your favorite YouTuber. Okay, like, don't get me wrong, we love them. They're my favorite YouTubers. There are kind of two steps that have been proven to be foolproof, like nothing can go wrong. And the first step is obviously you've got to stalk them down. You've got to find out where they live and then you have to go go to where they live. And step two is you gotta, you gotta vandalize their stuff. Like, nothing will start a more passionate and bonding friendship than vandalizing somebody's very expensive property. I mean, I love having my stuff vandalized. When people show up at my place and they're, they're trashing my shit and they're writing stuff all over it, I'm like, gee whiz, I love these people. I wanna be their friend. I wanna spend a lot of time in their company. Well, what is up guys, it's me, Mug, and yeah, I know I'm back after a long time, but I have a brand new video and I'm gonna go to the Sidemen house, yeah, and I am going to basically prank them. So we're gonna go inside and yeah, we're gonna put it around one of their cars or something. This is insane. When I say the words insane pranks, you might think of Jackass or maybe even the Bradbury Brothers. However, one thing that doesn't come to mind until today is prepubescent boys squirting ketchup onto the cars of their favorite YouTubers. I think in terms of insanity, this is the literal definition of it. This is insane. A lot of people ask me, Seaton, what exactly makes a good YouTube video? And I like to say it's about 10 seconds of somebody struggling to open a ketchup bottle. Just an intensely passionate moment of two young men sharing a ketchup bottle. Hey dude, don't worry, it happens to the best of us. The next step in any kind of successful stalking and vandalism prank is to obviously leave the name of your YouTube channel on the car bonnet because pissing off somebody with millions of subscribers is never going to have any negative repercussions, right? It's just a prank. You know, at the end of the day, they could clean that. I'm pretty sure that would be clean. Kind of the moral of this video is that if you shit over or vandalize something that somebody has worked really hard for, it's okay because they, they can clean it. Once you've done your insanely epic prank, it's time to make a great escape. Yeah? Come on again. Oh, sweet. Let's catch up on Calfrey's car. Yeah, we just oh, done that. We just done that. Come with us. This next clip is kind of the reason that I decided to make this video because I was really appalled by this. They end up going outside and there are a couple of friends waiting for them and like three more join in. They've obviously been snapchatting, texting, like getting the word around that they're doing this. And the friends like they're really infused to join in. They're like, sweet, let's get it done. Let's get some vandalism. Let's fuck up some shit. Like it's just such a dick move. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just so disappointed that like nobody came forward and was like, hey guys, should we be doing this? Like they worked really, really hard for their cars. If you watch any of the Sidemen's videos, they love their cars. Even Bazinga, he uploaded a video like the other week just talking about like how that car was his dream car and stuff. And 
then you just have like little dicks like this who just show up and they just shit all over it because they want to try and be funny they want to try and get youtube fame and it's just not cool it is not acceptable and i do not want this to become the norm at all is this going in as well now, the guy in the red shirt, in all defense, he's my favorite guy because the guy's like, are you going in as well? And the guy's like, well, fuck it. I, I ain't got anything else to do. Let's vandalize some cars. He's going in as well. Harry, welcome to your case. Hey, but they might be, the security might come. Security might come. Hey, the security. Security might come though. Well, you could read the video. <laughs> Trust me on this one, I am a verified bad man. And I can personally vouch that all bad men, they run a little bit like this. It's it's just the way that they run. It's just, it's a bad man thing. Come back, come back, come Catch up in your engine. You've been pranked, son. To be perfectly honest with you guys, everything I said earlier, it was a lie. Like, I am just jealous of these incredibly talented pranksters. I just wish I had the creativity and moxie to stalk my favorite YouTubers down and draw kind of ketchup penises on their cars. It wouldn't be a stalking vandalism ketchup prank without putting a little bit of ketchup in the grill just to really finish the job off. Oh, We've done this in this car when you go. I think the guy's close. Oh, oh, I the guy's close. Guys, come on. I need the guy's close. Fuck it, let's just run out. Let's not pick a risk. Let's just run But don't worry guys, because every good prank video ends with a, a really sincere and heartfelt apology. Okay, like, don't get me wrong, we love them. They're my favorite YouTubers. They will be quite pissed, but I'm really sorry. I have never heard such sincerity in somebody's voice. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a man full of sincere remorse and regret. Just kidding, he's, he's still an asshole. So the moral of today's story is, one, don't stalk and vandalize the property of your favorite YouTubers. Two, is regardless of your age, you can still be an asshole. And third, and finally, if you're gonna commit a crime, don't upload it to YouTube, where sarcastic British assholes such as myself can rip the piss out of you. I hope we've learned a lot today, boys and girls. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Don't stalk and vandalize your favorite YouTubers and have an absolutely fantastic day.